Hey guys, Sean from Make It Scale RC. Uh, I want to take a couple of seconds here uh, to talk to you guys about what do we use to glue the bodies that we're making. And because I was asked a question a couple of times about uh, what kind of glue do we use, where do we get this glue, and is it weather resistant, and is it mud resistant, and how durable are they? Basically, what we use is CA. That's what I have in front of me here. I have three thickness. I have super thin, gap filling medium, and extra thick. What we use is the medium, the gap filling. Um, the reason we use this guy is basically it's the viscosity it has. Uh, it's not like water, and it's not like a gravy. It's in between both. Basically, when we take our piece and apply it, it stays there, it doesn't run. <coughs> Sorry. And once we apply our glue, we use accelerator to bond the pieces faster together. Basically, it's like an aerosol can. You just spray a little bit on it, and then you're good. Now, don't apply too much of this, because it will eat your styrene. The other question I was asked, is it durable? To a certain point, yes it is. If you're playing in mud uh, near water uh, and your vehicle goes, does go in mud, doesn't go, does go in water, don't worry, it, it is waterproof. The other question I was asked, is it durable? Now if you're playing in uh, rocks, things like that, and your vehicle does stumble, falls on its side, or starts rolling, it might break your styrene might break but again your styrene is flexible to a certain point uh, you can basically almost tie a knot when it's depending on the size of your pieces here but if it does happen that your styrene breaks uh, basically what you do you grab your CA glue it again and you're off Now, third question is, where do we get our CA? Our gap filling uh, and our accelerator, basically we get it to our, one of our local suppliers here in uh, Ottawa, Canada. There's other places you can get CA, local hobby shop. Now, let's say you don't have a local hobby shop nearest you, you can get it on uh, Amazon or basically check your local uh, car part depot they might have access to it too, Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, depending where you live. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit the like button here. It help, helps us a lot. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if, you, if you're not subscribed already. Thank you, guys.